All right, what's going on, guys? It's Paula One, and today we are here doing a dual com, something a little bit different, with the pub stomper that's behind this gameplay that you're watching today. A very, very high standard gameplay. I'm here with Carnage Big Bro. Say what's up. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? So yeah, you probably haven't heard him too many times. He's done a couple like commentaries, and you've heard, you've definitely heard Carnage Big Bro's voice here before. It's not the first time, but. Uh, never, I don't think you've ever done like a straight commentary rather than like stat videos, I think. I, I think this is uh, one of my first ever like commentaries ever being alone on Carnage. You guys might have heard a few of my stat videos in the past, but this is pretty much my first uh, official commentary on the channel. Yeah, and it's kind of cool because they're going to actually get to like hear you and kind of get to know you a little bit closer, I think. And you're going to be seeing that more here at Carnage as we move forward. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and introduce your gameplay, because this, this is an insane, this is a really, really high standard gameplay, and it's also, like, on a map that I wouldn't expect, so. So, um, uh, yeah, guys, this is a sword nuclear on the map Aquarium, playing some, uh, core domination on Black Ops 3, and, uh, in pretty, pretty much that, th this, this map is very unique, in my opinion, and, uh, you guys don't see a lot of sword nuclears or even melee, uh, melee nuclears on this, uh, map at all. Uh, personally, it is it is my favorite map to go for melee weapon nuclears on because it's very it's not too small it's not too big it's just it's just right and there's there's a lot of flanking spots you can kill all the enemies from and uh, and yeah sure. I think it's just a a very good map for melee weapon nuclears and for any other nuclears that you going that you're going for on this map yeah if you think about it like it like the way it's set up on this side is like if you look at it, you're, you're obviously spawn trapping at a on the A flag. Uh, if you look at it, it it's kind of like perfectly set up for it because they spawn in the back, and then you have two buildings that you can kind of go through with those like little tunnels, and then the doorways are really like tight, so you can kind of sit on either side of the door. And when the enemies come through, you just kind of like destroy them. I have no idea you're there, uh, and since you have that hater up the entire time. I mean, you're pretty much good. Uh, from 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 this video uh, th that you guys are watching from right now, as you guys can see, I'm spawn trapping from A flag, and uh, it, like Apollo was saying, it, it's it's just right and it's the best for me because, as you guys can see, I'm using guardians and my other teammates as well are using guardians and sentries, so I give them uh, certain spawn points to sit at because once the enemies rush to them. It, my 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 friends are going to try and shoot at him and not kill him, but scare him away towards me. And you guys can see that once they go towards me, I'm just wrecking them with the sword. But overall, it's a pretty pretty uh, impressive gameplay in my opinion, and it was very fun to go for. And I'm pretty sure that I got this first or second game on, because as you guys can see on my channel and from Carnage that I love going for melee weapon nuclears. Yes, they can be a bit stressful at times, but overall, once you get them, they are, they, you just feel so accomplished. You, you just sure. feel like you can do anything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this was just a very uh, fun gameplay to go for, and I hope you all enjoy it. Yeah, it, you don't see too many of these. Like, there's really not, a, there's only like a handful of people that really can get melee nuclears consistently, and I would I would put you in that in that handful easily. Uh, I don't know how many. How many have you like? I don't. You probably don't know off the top of your head, but do you know how many you've gotten overall? Probably um, not. But I, I, I'm not sure. I would say over over ten. Yeah. I, I would say over ten melee weapon nuclears. I, I'm pretty sure I got over ten melee melee weapon nuclears overall. But personally, yeah. the person that I've noticed that I've gotten the most was Tasty, and he he was kind of the person that. I like not looked up to in a way but I seen him getting so many so I'm like uh, I'll give it a shot o it, overall it, it wasn't my thing it I'm more of a I, I'm more of a high kill gameplay kind of dude I love getting as many kills as I can I love rushing and I'm not that very patient on video games I just love going into the spawns and challenging as many gunfights as I can and for going for melee weapon nuclears, you have to have a ton of patience and you have to be very careful on who you are challenging and who and where you are going. Because in this gameplay, I do not have a hitter up all the time. Uh, for sure. majority of the gameplay, I do, but some spots in the gameplay, I do not. And when those, when 
that hater is not of. I am stressing. My heartbeat is just going crazy. I'm so <laughs> scared. I'm just sweating, and I, I'm I'm very uh, I'm playing very cautious and careful. But yeah. as you guys can see, I'm staying I'm staying more towards this right side of a spawn because I love sitting in that one building because there's a lot of it's very dark in there. So if there's a lot of enemies coming towards me. I can kind of blend into the dark and, and into the shadows, I should say, and uh, and I can get away with it much of the time. You. But some players are, uh, yeah, it, it is uh, harder to see me. But it depends on all the players as well because if you're just playing casual players, then yeah, they're not going to uh, challenge you and they're not going to think, oh, I'm gonna go kill uh, kill this dude to just kill him off from his streaks, but. It just depends on what who on who you are playing. I should say, if you're playing sweaties, yeah. then it's going to be a bit more harder because once they see that you're on a streak, or once they see that there's a hater, they're, they're just going to go all out in. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, if you guys are if you guys are going for melee weapon nuclears, the the streaks uh, I I would say uh, or I should recommend to you guys is UAV Guardian and Hater. And the main specialist that I would use is Heat Wave if you guys do have it unlocked. Because Heat Wave is a big, big must, I should say, for going for melee weapon nuclears. Because um, if you're cornered, you can hurry up and slide past the team uh, enemy's opponents and just stun them uh, real fast. And it's a very easy kill, I should say. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, and it's yeah. pretty fun. Yeah, and these are, these are really impressive gameplays. And uh, definitely check out Carnage Big Bro based off of this gameplay. He can you can expect a lot from him from more gameplays in Black Ops Three, but also in the future the next Call of Duty. Uh, but I'm, I think he's probably going to stick to Black Ops Three here for a while, uh, just because it seems like that's where the attention is. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Make sure to drop a like. Let's shoot for 750 likes on this gameplay. That would be awesome to see. Hopefully, you enjoyed this dual com with. Uh, Carnage Big Bro and myself. It's kind of something different, so hopefully you enjoy it. It's, it's very... It's We haven't done many of these, so it's kind of... We didn't practice for this or anything, so uh, mind the several errors. But anyways, hope you're having a fantastic day, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye, guys. Hope you all have an amazing day, and uh, I'll catch you all later. All right, talk to you guys later.